All right, Evan, thanks very much. And joining us on set is former Bear, Izzy Adonish. Hey, thanks good for to having see me. you. Thanks Always for a pleasure me. to have yeah, you here. Mine. I want to go back to something that we just heard in the package that Evan had, and that was a comment by Vic Fangio, who said, I, right now on my defensive line, I have one guy, Jeremiah Ratliff, right. Jay Ratliff, that I can go with, but two spots still open. Right. Should we be worried that what, three, four games before that first preseason, and we still don't know who the three defensive linemen will be in this 3-4 defense? You know, I don't think it's a time to worry. Whenever you have transition and, you know, in, in, in any team, you know, guys have to step up and, and, and show that they're the guys to have that job and, and to make the plays. You know, Jay's proven, he's tested. Uh, some young guys, talented, but they've really got to show that they're ready to make that next step at the next level, produce consistently for the team. And uh, everybody's kind of in a, in a transition phase. You got guys moving learning new things and um, it's been a quite some time since the defense has, has had to do that. Evan mentioned Jared Allen in the piece too and he's coming off a subpar year last year with him up in age and with a 3-4 now being installed can Jared Allen still be a really good player? I believe so. Um, I listened to Jared talk about having the energy back and, and just the, the, the energy around the team that wasn't there those last few years. It's back. They're feeling that energy and that's critical to guys buying in and playing at a high level. Uh, he said it's like He's back in college. He's studying his playbook. He's doing stuff that he hasn't done in a long time. He's a competitive guy, so I'm looking to him to actually step up and, and, and have that energy and that, that fight back. Uh, it's going to be a big year for him. you feel the same about Willie Young? I do. Love Willie Young. Another guy, I mean, extremely talented. And anytime, you know, it's, he, again, transition. So we'll see how Willie's going to play now, having to drop back. Um, at, on the line, you can focus on, on just being on the line. Now you have to open up and know the whole defense and know what's going on fully around you we're gonna see how Willie's gonna handle that I believe he's gonna do an excellent job so they're high again on Shane McClellan and we've heard this before that just kills you doesn't well, it? well look I mean <laughs> he's great in shells and shorts yeah. he's athletic but he still hasn't lived up to his first round drafting right. do you believe Vic Fangio can get something out of him let me tell you when Shea came and joined this he was probably one of the most instinctual guys in practice he was always around the ball undersized though they played him out of position I think now playing at a place where he should have been this whole time. Imagine if he was under like a Brian Olacker for those first few years where he'd be today at that linebacker position. I think great coaching now, giving him some trust. You know, they're trusting in him. He's a hardworking kid. He's going to he's gonna excel and he's going to do really you well. You know, Fangio says that he can take average players and turn them into pro bowlers. Is McClellan one of those guys or am I crazy to think that that potentially could happen? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, it comes down to making plays. Shea is one of those guys that can make plays. If you have great coaches that can put their players in the position to make plays, knowing what kind of player they have, put them in the position to highlight their skills, their abilities, they excel, thus leading the Pro Bowl. So, you know, I think the sky's the limit for Shea and for this group of guys coming up for this season. How about Perdell McPhee? Not a lot of Bears fans know a lot about him. He's supposed to be nasty. He's supposed to be good and ready to blossom now that the Bears signed him in free agency. Do you think he's going to be a great player here? You know, I've, I've seen limited highlights of him. And, uh, yeah, he's one of those guys that he's gonna, he seems, he comes high energy. He's very confident. He, he's, he's he one says of, he's nasty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's what you want. That's what this defense needs. You need that edge. You need a guy who who's, you know, takes no nonsense and ultimately holds everybody accountable on the field. And he seems like he's going to be a real, a real boost for this defense. You know, Brian Erlacher, Olin Krutz, Big Cat Williams, they were all at practice last week. John Fox reaching out to all the old-time Bears, bringing them back. Dan Hampton, who will be joining us on Thursday in our pregame show before the Bears-Dolphins game, also talking to the team last week. Do the guys that are playing on the Bears recognize that, and does that help this Bears team and what they're trying to accomplish. You know, I think the, the current guys recognize that, and, and, and I like what Fox is doing as far as bringing the guys back that really had a, a great culture for this team. You know, winning is about b building culture. Winning consistently is about building culture. So bringing back these guys who have meant that to this city, to this team for so many years, and having them around the new young talent, I think it's going to really bode well for what's to come. I'm not letting you off the hook and let you leave without a Jay Cutler <laughs> question. So you are a team Team with Jay and yeah. another offensive coordinator. Yeah. We've been waiting. What will Jay look like this year, in your opinion? You know, Jay is, is like my pick for this year. I've been telling everyone, Jay's going to have an outstanding year. It's been really? you know, in the doghouse, in the doghouse. And at the end of the day, what I do know about this game is that winning cures all. If you're winning, you know, uh, 
People will forgive a lot of things, will move on from a lot of things. It's been tough. I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to winning. He's all the talent in the world. It's just, it hasn't clicked. This is a year, I'm saying, it's gonna click for, for Jay, for this offense. So much talent on this team, all three phases. And now we have a great coaching staff in place, I believe, a, a huge upgrade at the coaching staff. And um, it's gonna be a big year. He's gonna step up and um, we'll all love him again. I'm I'm gonna hold you to it. I'm bringing him back. We're he, he's drinking the Kool-Aid. All of I drank all the Kool-Aid. I want him on the show all the time. We're just four days away from the first Bears preseason game. Dolphins and Bears go at it Thursday night. Our coverage starts at 6.30. Thursday will also mark the first appearance of our new Bears analyst. Drum roll, please. Okay, no drum roll. Hall of Famer Dan Hampton, the Danimo, joining the Fox 32 sports team. He'll provide analysis on our pregame show for all four preseason games. Plus, he's going to be a re regular contributor on our 10 a.m. pregame show, Fox Kickoff Sunday, and the final word starting September 13th. We are excited to have Dan aboard. We're also excited to have Izzy in the house. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. Israel Adonijah joining us tonight.